Hello everyone! In today's lesson, we're going to make a revision of the reported speech. Now, reported speech is the grammar we use when we want to tell another person about a conversation that took place in the past. And we often use it to tell someone news that we heard from someone else. For example, Tom told me that he and Karen had got engaged or to report something that happened. For example, Sam said that the other driver wasn't paying attention and hit his car. Now, remember that when we use reported speech, we're usually talking about the past. Therefore, verbs usually change to one tense back in the reported speech. For example, the simple present moves to simple past. The past simple moves to past perfect. The present perfect moves also to past perfect. Present continuous becomes past continuous, present perfect continuous becomes past perfect continuous, and the simple future becomes past future. Apart from the verbs, there are also changes of adverbs of time and place. For example, now becomes then, tomorrow becomes the following day, next week becomes the following week, tonight, that night, today, that day, and so on with the other adverbs of time or place. Now, in direct speech, we mainly focus on indirect statements, questions, and commands. Let's move on into more detailed explanation of statements. Now, the structure is he said, he said to me, or he told me, plus that, plus the reported words. For example, the sentence Jeffrey said, I didn't go to school today, which is in direct speech, in indirect or reported speech would become Jeffrey said that he hadn't gone to school that day. Regarding the questions, you know that there are two types of questions. First of all, the yes or no questions. And the structure for these types of questions is the subject plus the reporting verb plus the object, then it's if and whether, and then it's subject plus verb and the complement. For example, Ricky asked Henry, does your father work near here? This is the direct speech. And in indirect speech, the question would be, Ricky asked Henry if or whether his father worked near there. Then we have the WH questions. And the structure for these kind of questions is subject plus the reporting verb plus object. Then it's when, how, or the other WH question. And then we have subject, verb, and complement. For example, the man asked me, where do you come from? And in the reported speech, this would become, the man asked me where I came from. Please do bear in mind that there is no do, does, or did in reported questions. Lastly, we have the reported commands. And we have positive or negative commands. Depending on each of them, the structure for the positive commands would be subject plus the reporting verb and the object, then full infinitive, and lastly, the reporting words. For example, the teacher said, open your book on page 65. And in indirect speech, the order would become, the teacher told us to open our books on page 65. In the negative commands, the structure is almost the same, but the difference is that it does not use the full infinitive, but it uses not to. For example, the teacher said, don't make noises. And in indirect speech, the order would become, the teacher told us not to make noises. This was all for today. Thank you for your attention.